Hey everyone, Yamuna here from Jeevanam Wellness and Ayurveda here to help you live life on purpose. And today I have something so simple that it may very well be something you never thought about and very well may change the way that you approach self-transformation uh, in its entirety. So I'm super excited to share it. I think it's going to upgrade your self-talk, upgrade the way that you live your life and really invite in a higher caliber of relationships and existence for you. So the topic I want to speak about today is the two types of goals that we can set and how some of the goals that we're encouraged to set by, you know, maybe modern self-help uh, books out there or advice or maybe just the way our mind automatically works is this type of goal setting that really doesn't work very well or create a very positive internal environment. Okay, so the two types of goals we can set. One is a negative way of setting goals and two is a positive way of setting goals, just to make it super simple. So the negative way of setting goals is coming from a place of avoidance, of frustration, of what you don't want, right? So maybe you've got so frustrated with some aspect of your life or behavior or habits or mindset that you're like, you know what, I had this. I'm going to give this up. I'm going to you know, do a reboot on my life. I'm going to transform the way I live and I'm going to crush it. You know, I'm going to set all these goals and I'm just going to crush all my goals, my health, my relationships, my finances. I see this happening a lot where not only do we set goals to avoid things that we don't want, but then we try to do this complete overhaul, which kind of hits on every single area of life all at once. So that's a topic for another video about setting all goals for yourself at once. It just doesn't work. You need to pick something that's super pressing, super important right now, crush that goal, and then move on to something else. Um, it, the whole reboot thing doesn't work. So this negative type of goal setting is like this mounting frustration that's come up in your life that's now like pressurized your internal world and the lid is about to blow off and you're like, you know what? I've had it. I'm changing this part of my life. I no longer want to watch porn. I no longer want to mindlessly scroll my phone and consume a bunch of junk food media for my mind. Or I no longer want to, you know, binge eat or eat all this junk food and make my body feel horrible. So those are all examples of these negative goals. And really what they're representative of is what you don't want and an outcome you want to avoid. Now, how I want to contrast this is by explaining what a positive goal is and that both of them will achieve something, hopefully. But the positive goal setting will actually be a lot more accurate of a way of setting goals, will actually get you what you want, and will be a lot more pleasant of an experience along the way. So how is that? Well, positive goal setting is really about connecting to the basic fundamental human needs that you have that are going unmet and naming those things and actually engaging with something that's going to meet those needs. So for instance, if it's about giving up pornography, just as an example, the, you want to give up something because you're frustrated, but what is the positive need behind that? Maybe the positive need is um, engaging with your sexual energy in a positive way, in a healthy way, uh, in a you know, nourishing way. Or maybe your pornography use stems from not being able to deal with stress. And so really stress is the issue. And the positive version of that is to have a healthy and balanced nervous system and mechanisms and strategies for dealing with stress, right? So those are positive alternatives to a negative goal. Uh, another example that I gave is the mindless consumption of junk food media, like on your phone or Netflix or whatever it is. And you want to give it up because you're frustrated. Maybe it's, you know, you're not using your time very well. Maybe it's that you 
know that it's not healthy to fill your mind with junk food and that you want to change that to actually fill your world with wisdom and knowledge and consume information that's going to uplift you, that's going to inspire you, transform you, and brighten your day and give you something valuable in your life. So instead of just saying, well, I'm going to give up the junk food for my mind, how about I set a positive goal of reading one book a month or dedicating to listening to a podcast that I find inspiring every single day or hearing some lecture or some teacher every single day. And so that's another example of a positive goal. The last one that I gave is the about eating junk food and binge eating and all that. So that's avoidance of a negative behavior. Now, what is the positive goal behind that? Maybe it's the way that you relate with your body. Maybe you want a positive self-image. Maybe, again, a lot of the times people stress eat is due to not being able to deal with the struggles of life. So maybe you need positive tools for calming your nervous system, for feeling vibrant, feeling pleasant in your own body and in your own mind. Or maybe you just want to be healthier. You know, maybe you want to eat stuff that tastes good and make you feel good without um, having the after effect of it trashing your body, right? Because the junk food, it tastes good. It feels good initially, but then it trashes your body. So maybe you just want to keep the taste good, feels good, and actually make it is good, you know, into your life. So then that means, okay, finding out super tasty, incredible recipes and foods I can eat that are going to nourish me on all levels, right? Or again, maybe it's learning healthy ways to regulate my nervous system so that I don't need to reach for something outside of myself to be content and to deal with the struggles that I go through in my everyday, right? Creating some ritual around that. So these are very simple examples that I hope just connect you more with, okay, I'm facing some struggle in my life. I'm seeing something I don't like about my life. Now, what is the thing that you do want, right? It's every duality. It's like, two sides of the same coin, right? So on this side, it's like, I hate myself for watching porn. And on this side, it's you have an ability to have a healthy expression of your sexual energy. And the reason you're feeling like shit on this side is because you're not accessing this side of the coin, which is simultaneously available for you, which is why you feel bad about not accessing it, right? It means it's available for you. So what I want you to do from now on is try this out. Try to notice when you're setting negative goals, goals that are inspired from a place of avoidance, negativity, and um, hate for yourself, and set positive goals that help you connect with the goodness that is within you, with the intelligence, the beauty, the strength, the kindness, the compassion that is within you that helps connect you with all the positive qualities you already possess instead of letting the negativity be the fuel even if you're setting some goal that's supposed to help you all right so hope that this helped hope that this clarified and i think it's going to be dynamic for you to make the goal setting process easier not beat yourself up with shame and guilt all along the way And just add in the good stuff more so than worry about taking out the negative stuff. Taking out the negative stuff is important, but it's not as important as filling your life with good stuff. And honestly, how you're going to replace the negative stuff is by filling your world with so much good stuff, including relaxation and time. You know, I'm not saying um, fill your world with so many things to just distract yourself. It includes relaxation, but fill your world with so many nourishing activities that there's simply no time and no space for negativity to come in. All right, hope this helped. Please leave a comment, share, subscribe, all for the algorithm gods. Feed the algorithm gods if you like this content, and I'm here to serve you. Hope you are well, and hope to hear from you.